Nature is the foundation of our livelihoods, of our well-being. The air we breathe, the water we drink and the food we eat are essentials to life. They make up our precious ecosystems and rich biodiversity. Neglected by government policies, tens of billions of dollars are lost every year through the degradation of terrestrial ecosystems alone. And it's projected that fish stocks will totally collapse by 2050 due to overfishing. When all the indicators tell us that biodiversity is in trouble, but we continue to take it for granted, the question is, how do we make the change happen? And how do we conserve biodiversity to secure our future and the future of our children? Well, there's many things that IUCN can do. We're quite famous for our knowledge products. The IUCN Red List of Threatened Species, the Red List of Ecosystems, which is being developed, the Key Biodiversity Area Standard, and also the World Database on Protected Areas, which we do jointly with UNEP WCMC. Now, all this knowledge can give us a lot of information on how we conserve biodiversity. And the trick really is to get that knowledge used and taken up and turned into action. In 2010, governments agreed on 20 targets to be implemented by 2020 to get biodiversity back on track. These targets address the underlying causes of biodiversity loss, to reduce the pressure on biodiversity and take positive action to save it at the species level, at the ecosystem level and the genetic level. We need to make sure that poor communities, um, indigenous and local communities, and um, as well as the more rich people on the planet can all benefit from biodiversity because they all need biodiversity. And then to do that, you know, there are various tools that we must, we must develop and, and make better use of. We need to use science more effectively and we need to look at how we're spending our money, what they call resource mobilisation. Because they are essential to life, biodiversity and ecosystems are priceless. So why try to put a value on nature? IUCN argues that putting a value on nature can be a useful conservation tool if people are rewarded for conserving it. Nature sustains our lives in every way. It's a very tangible and concrete resource provider. Therefore, it's logical to include the value of these services provided by nature in our economies to make leaders understand they've not only a value, but also a price. So if you place a value on a forest, for instance, and the fresh water that it can provide downstream to a city that's using it, and there are many examples of that around the world, then the people who are managing that forest and in effect keeping that water clean and okay for the people to drink ought to be, um, ought to be um, given some kind of reward. So in that sense, you're valuing biodiversity. People's dependence on biodiversity for everything in life is also seen in many health products. About three quarters of modern medicines are based on chemicals that have been synthesised from nature. Many new ones are being found all the time. There's um, a plant called the, the synchrona plant, which is better known as, as quinine, which is, is the stuff we find in gin and tonic. Well, that is an anti-malarial product. That contains an anti-malarial product, which has been used for many, many decades, actually, to save thousands of lives. Now, however, it's lost its potency, so we need to go back to the wild to, get to, to, again, look for the right chemicals in that plant that will rejuvenate this drug and make it more effective again to treat malaria. It makes economic sense and will have a significant impact in promoting a more environmentally conscious world as governments, industries and consumers understand the relationship of nature to their well-being. Biodiversity works at three levels, if you like. It contains species, genes and ecosystems. And all these three elements work in an interconnected and as yet not fully understood way. So we have to work in IUCN at all these three levels. We have to conserve ecosystems and we have to avoid damage to ecosystems. We have to conserve species, and here the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species is particularly relevant, but we also have to carry out action to conserve the species we've identified as needing that action. I think the strength of the IUCN World Conservation Congress is that it's a place where many, many stakeholders who really care about the conservation of nature can work with many others who don't quite get it yet and really understand why we need to do it, but perhaps even more importantly for the Congress, the how. 
IUCN is intent on seeing economics become an integral part on conservation and assist businesses to value nature. Now more generally what business really does require is, is um, regulations at the national and perhaps sometimes the international level to allow them to operate on a level playing field. So I think that's one thing we need to be working with and understanding more and, and again the Congress is a great place where business can come together and, and talk with you know the traditional conservation community and try and get more on the same page about how they can help. If some of the leaders take a leadership role I think some of the other smaller businesses can get behind that. Carbon credits are today the most widespread value payments. Several governments and businesses are funding the conservation of forest and carbon sequester ecosystems to reduce emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. Red. We should keep in mind the huge role that forests play in climate change by mopping up carbon or carbon sequestration. So nature plus life, I mean, life is nature and we, we concentrate very much on, say, the economic values of nature, but we've got to remember that Life sustains us in many other ways as well, um, in terms of our spiritual lives, in terms of our actual health and, and, and well-being. Um, there's a wonderful example coming out of Australia of doctors actually prescribing a walk in the park, a walk with nature, instead of you know, the usual bottle of pills. Nature Plus is life in abundance.